In this video, I'm going to show you how to write blog posts that make money. So what is up, legends? Glad to have you back here. And today I'm going to be giving you 10 tips that you can use to make more money with blog posts. And guys, let me tell you this. Blog posts are one of my favorite ways to sell and make money online because people look at them as a value, right? They're not looking at this as like a sales page or like an opt-in page. People are seeing blog posts as good content, they're getting value. And what's really cool is when you sell from a blog post, you can make a lot of money and people don't see it as you selling to them. All right, so let's dive in. The first tip I wanna give you is write content for a purpose. So many newbie bloggers go out there and they just write content and they write it on anything and everything. Everything that you write on your blog should have a purpose. If my blog is about teaching people how to make money with digital products, well, then I should create content that ultimately leads people into purchasing that product. Or if I'm a personal trainer and I have a blog, well, then I should write content that leads people to become a client of my personal training business. Tip number two, focus on creating really valuable blog posts that lead directly into a product. So just like I was talking about there, not only do you want to create content that leads people into a product, but you want to create really valuable content, right? Just throwing something together that takes you a couple minutes is not going to convert people into sales. So you want to focus on creating really good content that really helps people, that really solves problems, because if you can do that, they're going to want more, which leads them to buying from you. Tip number three, give people the overviews and not the details. So a lot of times when I write a blog post, I tell people, how something works, but I don't give them every single detail because in the details, that's where my products come in. If they want to go in and get the step-by-steps, that's where my products are, but I would give them overviews and really good content on how to go from A to Z, but if they want the step-by-step, -step, they'll have to buy the course. The next tip is to give them the logical next step, and guys, this is so, so important. So when someone is reading your blog post and you just taught them something really awesome you want to give them the logical next step. Now that next step could be to buy your product or it could be to watch your webinar or to join your email list, whatever it is, but you got to tell them the logical next step. So if they just read this really awesome blog post about, you know, how to prep their meals for the week, well then offer them to join your five day weight loss challenge that gets them on your email list and ultimately sets them up to buy your personal training. You see how that works? That's just one example, but you wanna give people the logical next step. The next tip is to always link to mentioned products and services and coaching offers. So as you're writing your content, things are gonna come up about your products or the services or the coaching offers that you have. So anytime you mention those as you create your content, you wanna link to them. And this sounds like common sense, but so many people don't do it, guys. They don't link to their products or their services or their coaching offers. Yes, giving people value in your blog posts is super, super important. But if you never sell, guys, you're not going to make any money. So you have to link out to those products, services, and coaching offers when they're mentioned in your content. Next, you also want to link to product and tools you recommend as an affiliate. So for example, I have a marketing blog. I use ClickFunnels, it's a really awesome tool. So if I'm talking about creating landing pages or creating sales pages or sales funnels, it makes sense for me to link you over to ClickFunnels because that is what I use and that is what I recommend, right? And in return, not only am I gonna help you get an amazing tool to create sales funnels and lead pages and all that kind of stuff, but I'm also gonna make commissions. So link to the products and tools that you recommend as an affiliate as you create your content when it makes sense. Next, you want to optimize your blog with sidebar banners and content banners and footer banners, all right? So guys, as you create your blog content, you know, people are gonna be there reading it, but you wanna have these eye-catching banners in the sidebar and in the footer and even within your content that gets people to that logical next step. So it's one thing to just tell them to take that logical next step, but you also wanna optimize your blog in all those different places. People look at the sidebar, they look at the foot of your blog post, and within your content, you can even have banners and links take them to the logical next step. Next, 
you want to draw them in with headlines, formatting, and imagery. And now, if I only had to pick one of those, I would say nail your headlines, guys. You have to nail the headlines because if nobody is reading your content, then it doesn't matter how well you optimize that content or how well you sell within that blog post or how valuable that blog post is, right? So you really need to focus on your headlines. And then once you nail down your headlines, that's when you want to focus on formatting and imagery, having images in your post because the formatting and the images inside your post, as long as it's valuable content, will keep them in there, keep them consuming, and then ultimately get them to buy something from you. Next, in your content, you want to come from a place of authority and confidence. Just like I'm recording this video right now, I'm very authoritative. I'm very confident in the value that I'm giving you guys. And when you write a blog post, you want to be the same way. You want to be sure of yourself. You want to know that you're delivering awesome value. And you want to come from a place of authority and confidence. And my absolute favorite tip today, guys, is give people a reason to buy. Guys, so many people don't give people a reason to buy. An example of this is something like, hey, if you love this post, you're going to absolutely love my course because not only do I show you X, Y, and Z, but I take you through step by step how to do X, Y, Z, right? So I gave them a reason to buy. I said, hey, if you like this post, you like this content, which you know they did because they read the whole thing, then you are going to absolutely love my course. So I gave them a reason to buy or maybe you're running a special discount price right that's giving people a reason to buy or maybe you give your blog readers a discount or your email subscribers a discount those are all reasons for people to buy so guys if you absolutely love videos like this you want daily marketing videos to take your business to the next level hit that subscribe button subscribe to this channel and join me here become legendary, build a legendary business, and I'll see you in the next video.